Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Peechesh. I'm in Bangalore. Today, I just wanted to give you a quick room tour of my room. What? I wanted to give you a quick tour of my beautiful room. So this is what I found on booking.com. All of a sudden, I've never stayed here before. And it is such a nice room that I genuinely want to recommend this to you all. So let me just give you all a quick tour first. These are our bags and this is the entrance. Here we have like a really cute dining area slash coffee table area and here as any other hotel has some you know pantry stuff and there's a fridge too which is great that's me Moving on, we have this beautiful beige sofa and a marble top center table along with some extra seats if you have friends coming over to your suite. Let me just show you the best part about this room, which was actually the key factor in booking this as my stay for a few days. There are two blinds here, a sheer one and a heavy blind let me just open the other one and show you so this is how stunning the view is from the living area it's full of lush green trees and the views are immaculate as you can see totally forgot to show you all a huge ass tv here i have never seen such a huge tv in a four star before if i'm not wrong it is a four star i'm quite surprised by the amenities provided here so there is a huge door um, that separates the living area from the bedroom and so this is what the bedroom looks like it's very spacious bright and again you have huge windows with a lot of greenery there's also a what do you call this a sofa a bedside sofa i don't know as you can see there's like a couple of things that's always necessary the usual boring things and this is where it gets interesting this room has two huge tvs like literally such big ones it would be a shame if it does not work maybe i'll tell you all later on my story or something and this is a study which is great there's a sliding door to the bathroom a really cute mirror and yeah it's just a washroom moving on to the shower area nothing fancy here i love that it has multiple socket options which is great loving the lighting here i just want to record some skincare or makeup video if i have the confidence and also so many products maybe maybe we'll see so i guess that pretty much sums up the room tour and i'll catch you guys in a bit when we are heading out we're just going to relax for a couple of minutes get changed or probably not not sure about that yet and just head out for some shopping and to no one's surprise, I entered into H&M, obviously headed straight to the sales section to find cheap stuff, then had a mental debate if I should get these heels or not. Although they looked stunning, I could not remember a single outfit in my closet I could style it with, then tried on these huge sunglasses that were not so huge on my face. I wanted to get this Malibu Barbie beach bag, it's so cute. If I could just go on a beach vacation to use this bag and all these summery t-shirts. Look at how cute these butterfly claw clips are. So this is how the top looks on me. And this dressing room is crazy. Let me just show you. This dressing room had multiple lighting options as you can see. It also has a screen which is so easy to shop from. So I am in food hall right now searching for some really yum snacks and uh, tidbits to snack on later. 
Just look at the variety of cheeses they have over here. They also do these little really cute cheese platters. And a sorted one too. I'm actually planning on getting these kind of sushi rolls. These look so good. This is a vegetarian roll. I don't want that. Avocado asparagus. What else do they have? Okay, this is probably what I will get. A grab chick avocado maki roll. Look what I just found. Black caviar chips. And it is for $4.95. Oh my god. I'm keeping that where it belongs was awestruck at this huge mushroom wall they had. The one I love and always reach out for is definitely shiitake, the dried shiitake, but I don't even think I can differentiate at this point. After seeing and walking in between so many aisles of breads and bagels, we decided that gluten is good for health. So we got this pretzel to share which looked appetizing, but I still have an undecided opinion about it, even when I'm editing this vlog a month later. Not going to lie, it was good, but kind of stale. Later, we walked to a nearby restaurant and ordered some refreshing mocktails along with a salmon papdi chart. Never knew that was a thing. You like? For dessert, we ordered textures of coffee. This was just so, so good and you need to try it if you ever come here. It's the next morning and I totally forgot to vlog last night. After some shopping, we went to a nearby restaurant. Um, I'll just attach some clips or videos here. And after that, we headed back to the hotel. There was a lot of uh, traffic last night and it took us almost an hour and a half to reach uh, our hotel room and we were quite exhausted so sorry i couldn't vlog last night and after a good breakfast now we are heading towards ikea on a metro i haven't been on a bangalore metro before so that's exciting and also i've never seen an ikea store anywhere else or even in bangalore so that's going to be fun literally my dream closet let me just show you from a wider angle how cute is this I guess it can easily fit all of my books hey guys welcome to my view office this is my view workspace you're fired now coming to the main part of ikea the food that i've always wanted to try because i've heard such good things about it especially the new york cheesecake and also the chicken meatballs this is everything we got for our lunch a veggie salad with caesar dressing potato wedges with ketchup chicken nuggets and a serving of rice and meatball curry for dessert, we got the cheesecake, a cinnamon roll, a muffin and apple puff pastries. The food was really scrumptious and delicious just like I had heard and it was the best cheesecake I've ever had. It was so bloody good. It's okay if you don't want to buy furniture, just come for the cheesecake. It's definitely worth it. And yeah, that is the vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next week.